Hey guys, how are you doing? Um, I finally got my hands on the reissue of Ben Riley. This was the last one that I really, really wanted. Um, before we do start the video, guys, I want to let you know that he is in stock on Big Bad Toy Store right now, and also Mafex Venom. I already picked Venom up for myself because I wasn't able to get him from the normal Japan side that I usually get them at. And yeah, guys, I really recommend you get it right now. They're both in stock. Um, I will leave a link in the description. But yeah, guys, today we're going to be looking at the reissue of Ben Riley, like I said. I'm excited to finally have this figure in my collection. He was the last one of my of the spider figures that I really wanted from Mafex. So yeah, let's dive into it. All right, guys, here is here he is out of the package. He looks really, really good. I really like this outfit for Ben Riley. It looks so damn awesome. Um, Obviously, Scarlet Spider is the other version, like the other look for him. But yeah, guys, I'm finally happy to have this. And in case you don't know, his unmasked head sculpt that this one includes is compatible with the Scarlet Spider, which is awesome. So I'm going to be seeing that today. And yeah, guys, just overall really happy with how he looks. It looks like all the paint on my copy looks good for the most part, which I'm happy about. A lot of them come in defects, which is unfortunate. But looks like they got the lines nicely sculpted and painted on around the spider suit. And you can see right here on the legs... It has a little bit of black shading. I'm not sure because yeah, you can see right there. So that's awesome. I really like that. And yeah, guys, we will take a little closer look and then we'll get into the rest. All right, guys, a closer look right here. Uh, the paint does look very good for the most part. Like I said, you can see right there around the whole mask, the body, just a little bit right here is missing a little black and right here as well. But that's pretty much it. Otherwise, I'm pretty happy with how it looks. And everything on the blue suit or blue color looks good. No defects or anything around the feet as well. So, yeah, guys, that's awesome. All right, guys, articulation real quick. Um, He can look up a lot, which is insane. What do you expect from Mafex now? Uh, he looks down. Really, really good smooth movement side to side. He can swivel around the neck and the head, which is cool. He can do a T-pose higher than 90 degrees. He could do a full 360 bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. He is on the little hinge that moves up and down and then is on a swivel. So that's awesome. And then he can do a butterfly joint at about there, which is nice. That's really good. Uh, he can move at the diaphragm right here. So much rotation just from the top side, which is crazy. You do see gapage. And then with the help of the bottom, you just get full smooth movement which is crazy as well i love these figures so much side to side app crunch at about there which is awesome he can go back this much you see gapage but it's all right but yeah guys it's cool you can just do like some cool punches something like this or something you know it's awesome i really like that and then he has a waist swivel he can do the drop down method as well with these guys he could do his splits at about there and then dropping it down, he can put his leg up up to there, which is really, really good. He can go back a little bit. And he has a thigh swivel, double jointed knees. His foot goes up this much, his foot goes down that much. He has amazing ankle pivot as always. And then he does have toe hinge. So yeah, guys, just like any other spider Mafex figure, if you have any, they're perfect. They're amazing. The articulation is just awesome and super compatible i feel with these spider characters so damn awesome it fits them perfectly you could do any pose you want with the spider character which is awesome so yeah let's go ahead and get to the accessories next up we have this head sculpt right here he looks a little more angry you can see right here the difference in the eyes so that's pretty cool i like that a lot then here we have the amazing amazing unmasked ben riley head uh, i really like how there's a lot of color and nice paint around the blonde hair and it looks like peter but not peter at the same time which is awesome i'm glad they didn't just copy off the original peter parker unmasked head sculpt and then just painted it blonde i really like how they used their own hair version for him i like it it looks really good so that's awesome he does bring uh when he's unmasked where he's just holding the mask on his hand that's cool it has a peg right here i will show you the uh the hand that comes with it that's awesome as well we have a pair of action open hands. Here are the hands that peg the mask as well. You can see right here, just a brief look. So right there, that's pretty damn cool. He does have a pair of flipper hands where he's shooting web. 
He has a pair of web grabbing hands where he's swinging. That's pretty cool. Here are some open relaxed hands. Then we do get a pair of magnet hands. And then lastly but not least for the hand accessories and feet, he brings a pair of magnet feet. And lastly, I'm just going to show you guys the webs on the package. Um, I'm not planning on taking these out right now because I make my own webs. And I like how they are, but nevertheless, it's cool to get these accessories. So he has a pair of two shooting webbing hands or two webs that he shoots. They're smaller than two long ones. And then he does bring two swinging webs right here, which is cool. So I really like that. In case anyone wanted to see, here is Ben Riley with the unmasked head sculpt. Looks really, really nice. I like how it looks. Nicely sculpted, nicely painted. And in case anyone wants to get the Ben Riley for the unmasked head sculpt for the Scarlet Spider, you can see right here it is compatible. You obviously just have to remove the neck from Ben Riley. That way the head pegs onto this one for Scarlet Spider. It's compatible. That's awesome. If you want to have this version of him, there you go with the hood or off. So yeah, guys, that looks really, really nice. All right, guys, now getting to a quick size comparison with some Spider figures. Here he is next to the Scarlet Spider with the unmasked head sculpt that comes with this Ben Riley. Here he is next to the SH Figure Arts adult version of Gwen Stacy. Here he is next to probably one of my favorite Mayfix figures, the Symbiote Black Suit Spider-Man. Here he is next to the Sentinel Miles Morales kid version. Here he is next to a Lego Spider-Man. Here he is next to the uh, newer version of the original Mayfix Spider-Man. You can see right there that their masks do look very similar, so that's cool. Here he is next to the Mayfix uh carnage and then here is a marble legends retro box chasm if you guys don't know this is ben riley uh, i haven't personally read it myself but i heard that he gets uh these different types of power so he ends up getting this suit i'm not sure if he turns into a bad guy i'm fairly certain he does but yeah guys uh that's another ben riley figure right there if you didn't know next up we do have a marble legends retro box ben riley spider-man um, if you have this figure and you like it, then yeah, that's cool. Uh, I'm leaning more towards the slim look for the Mayfex figures. This is why I'm picking them up. But yeah, guys, they look pretty good together. If you want to scale your legends with some Mayfex figures, he is a little bit taller, but for the most part, it's good. So here he is next to the amazing Yamaguchi Revoltic Spider-Man 2.0 version. And lastly, here he is next to a Marvel Legends Venom. This is the Null 2 pack. And like I said, I am I just picked up the Mafex Venom, which I'm excited for. So I'm going to have two different ones. But yeah, I hope you guys liked it. Um, I showed you a Marvel Legends. I showed you some Mafex Spiders. I showed you an SH Figure Arts Gwen. I showed you a Sentinel Miles Morales and a Revoltex Spider-Man. So I hope that covers a good scale of all Spider characters. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I know it's an old figure, but he got reissued. And I've been waiting for a long time to get this guy. This guy's been being sold for like 400 before plus dollars which is so ridiculous so i got him for like 80 reissue price so i'm so happy to finally have him in my collection um like i said i just picked up venom so i can't wait for that but yeah guys i really hope you enjoyed the video uh the unmasked head sculpt for this ben riley come is compatible with scarlet spider just in case anyone didn't know and yeah guys like i said i'm gonna leave a link this guy and the Mafex Venom are both available in Big Bad Guys. If you really want those figures, I suggest jumping on it right now, guys. They will not be there for long. So, yeah, guys, really hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe so I can do this more in the future. And I really hope you guys have a great day. Take care, guys.